You won't eat meat, but if someone kills a cow, you play with its skin. That's just weird. <laughs> Uh, hey, Mike, there's something blocking the door. Yeah, some idiot left those in my garage. <laughs> but these are all my boxes. <laughs> uh... Look, if I don't recycle a milk jug, you have a stroke. But you don't mind using my garage as your personal landfill. Yeah, well, Chris and I don't have the extra space. Sure you do. Out behind your apartment building, it's called a dumpster. <laughs> hey, look, a ukulele. Yeah, great. Why don't you give me a little Jimi Hendrix? Never learn to play. No, I mean light it on fire. <laughs> you can't make fun of my leather crafting, because this is some quality work. You won't eat meat, but if someone kills a cow, you play with its skin. That's just weird. Hey, Come on in. You're just hey. in time for a stroll down Ryan's Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Hi, Dad. Hey, bud. How was school? Bye, Dad. Okay, what did he do now? Apparently, he got suspended for the day for announcing that his teacher was boring. Great, that's awesome. Well, that's a little harsh. I mean, the worst thing I ever got for telling a joke was detention. I, I worked pretty blue back then. That was his third strike. Right. He keeps getting in trouble for disrupting the class, and I have no idea what's going on with him. Well, I'll tell you what it is. He's bored. Yeah, no kidding. He didn't get suspended for saying, interesting. <laughs> Did you talk to his teacher like I told you to? His teacher is the problem, okay? If she was doing her job, he wouldn't be bored. Oh, everybody blames the teacher. Yeah, but it's hard for us to keep kids interested when we have to teach them the test and Lisa Morales shows up in a halter top. Put Boyd in another class and maybe get Lisa Morales a nice sweater. I can't just put him in another class, okay? There's all sorts of rules against that, but something's gotta change because he's not learning anything anymore. Wow, the public education system. Imagine that, a large government program that doesn't work very well. Hey. Despite the heroic efforts of our teachers. Well, luckily I'm off tomorrow so I can stay home with them. You know, why don't you make it a day of learning? Maybe take them to the museum or the aquarium? Wait a second. Or we could do something my dad and I used to love to do. Move boxes. <laughs> all right, the raccoon traps are all set for tonight. Just have to wait for the bait to finish cooking. Cooking? Did the raccoon order a last meal? I know you're joking, but if you humanize them, it's gonna make it harder to kill them. And because it's so important to catch them, I'm making my grandmother's beef wellington. Oh, sounds like a lot of work. No, not really. I didn't make the puff pastry from scratch. I figured Mr. I usually eat garbage wouldn't know the difference. Darn it, I humanized them. Hey, Chris. Hey. This is from Ed's office. Okay. Something smells good. What's the special today? Raccoon bait. You might want to think of a better name for the chalkboard. Uh, hey, listen, uh, Ryan's coming in. We had a long talk last night, and I think that he might be coming around to your whole private school idea. Well, you know what? Your dad can be very convincing. Not all the time, because this place is not called Outdoor Mike's. Hey, there he is. Hi. Mm. Hey, Mike, uh, I wanted to thank you for your talk yesterday. You made some really good points. I had a little help from something called reality. I was dropping Boyd off today at school and he asked me, why do I have to go back here? And I didn't know what to tell him. Kind of choking on the words, Grandpa was right. He had so much fun learning yesterday. And I realized he's never going to get that in those big classes at right. Clark. Right. I, I told you last night that I think private school is a great idea. I know. But I have an even better idea. Oh, boy. I'm going to take him out of Clark and I'm going to homeschool him. <laughs> hey, looks like reality and I have a little more work to do.